I'm here in the international offices with Gervais Brooks and Joan Bennett to hear about what's going on around the world. So let's meet these wonderful mighty women of God, shall we? Gervais, share with us your title and something about your personal life. Hello, everyone. My title is Executive Director, International Field. And personal life um, is a lot to share. All of us could share a lot. But first of all, um, I'm married to a wonderful man. Of We've been married 49 years, and he's just come through an amazing, difficult time of fighting cancer, and he's doing very well. We feel like we've beat it, and I thank everyone for their prayers. And then personally, we have three children. Two of them live locally, and one lives in heaven. And uh, nine grandchildren and 12 great-grandchildren. So we have lots of little ones in our family. Now, Joan, it's your turn. Share with us about your title and something personal about your life. Well, I serve as director of Asia and the South Pacific regions for Aglow. I've been married to the same man for 52 years. We have two children and three grandchildren. And my favorite things to do is just be at home and do some sewing, relax, take walks, spend time with my grandchildren. We all love time with our grandchildren. Let's go back to you, Gervais. Share what you do and a little bit about the map behind us and about where God is currently shining his light. My main thing to do here is com communicate with the leaders. We communicate with them by, oh, let's see, email, WhatsApp, uh, Skype, um, telephone, all kinds of ways. It's not unusual for me to get a phone call by WhatsApp at 4.30 in the morning because it's 1.30 in the afternoon where the leader lives. And with regard to the map, many of you have been here to see the map. And often, Joan and I even come and stand before the map and say, where is this place we're talking about? And what, 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 is, what are some ways we can advocate for those leaders or strategize for them, see where they're located? So it's a privilege to be here, to be here for them. And, you know, the map is changing all the time. As you've heard Jane talk about, whatever you see in the news is happening somewhere around the world in a glow. And so lately we've heard a lot of news about Venezuela and um, the difficulties they're have, having there. Our leaders are suffering. And, they're, and amidst their own suffering, they're reaching out to help others. There's a group in Florida that we have sent them some donation money, and they have uh, purchased uh, humanitarian aid supplies and gotten them, uh, they were able to send them over to Venezuela, and those women passed them out to the people that need them. It was a wonderful thing. Also in the news, we've been hearing so much about Nigeria, and actually last Monday, the Monday night prayer call was about Nigeria. And a glow in Nigeria is large and it's well established. They even have four national conferences every year, not because in four areas of the country, so that the women can safely travel to reach the the national conference. It's just wonderful to be in, involved with all of this. It's a privilege to be here, to be involved with all of these women. Uh, I've been to many of their homes. They've some of them have been to mine, and so we're not only a glow leaders together, but we're friends. Thank you, Gervais. Doesn't that just enlarge your heart? You are part of this. You're part of what's happening. It's your gifts that are coming to a glow that are helping to fund what is going on in the nations. And so thank you so much for what you are doing. And just so you know, we are just ordinary women, just like you are ordinary women, doing what God has called us to do. So Joan, now it's your turn. Would you please share with us about the Asia region and what's going on there? Well, I'm very excited about what's taking place in the Asia region. We're seeing the uh, GLOW leaders rising up as champions and warriors in their nations, and I can see them coming into their true identity in Christ. Actually, I believe that God has been preparing them for what is coming in Asia. I think many of you will recall the word that Chuck Pierce brought during the 2017 Aglow Jubilee Conference. I'm here to say if you're from China, China will have a move of God. There will be a move of God in uh, Vietnam. There will be a move of God in Malaysia. 
There will be moves of God throughout all of Asia this year, and there will be great conflict with those moves because it's time. Chuck prophesied about China, Malaysia, and Vietnam. Now, we're seeing that word come to pass. I am really excited to tell you that Aglo Asia national leaders have actually gone on prayer journeys into Vietnam in 2018 and Malaysia just this year. Recently, we're seeing the fruit of those prayers coming forth. You see, Vietnam in particular, uh, a group or a team just returned to Vietnam just this month, and they were able to establish six local fellowships throughout Vietnam. So the word that Chuck brought is truly coming to pass right now in Asia. And a glow, Asia is ready. They have been prepared for such a time as this. Thank you, Joan. Isn't that exciting to hear all that's going on around the world? And these are in nations in Asia where we aren't even able to share, but God is getting into these places. A glow is getting into these places where many are never able to go. So thank you for what you're doing to help them to get there. Joan, you've recently been to a restricted nation. Tell us a little bit about what God's doing there. We took what we would call a very historic trip into this nation. No one from a GLOW headquarters had been there for many, many years. When we arrived there, we found that 13 candlelights are, are glowing in that nation. It has continued on in spite of not a lot of visitations from leaders. I'm happy to tell you that we had a gathering of about 100 people. We taught on identity and we trained up some of the leaders. They were so hungry. And the Holy Spirit moved powerfully during our final session. We experienced a move of the Spirit that brought physical healings. We saw knees healed, stomach issues corrected, back problems healed, and an emotional healings. What was so exciting to me is we saw deliverance from fear, anger, depression, and it was re- these things were replaced by joy and peace. One woman had never left her village in her entire life, but she left her village to come to this aglow gathering, and she was touched as she came into her identity. I have to tell you, the Holy Spirit moved in a mighty way there, and the work is well established now. Yay. Isn't God good? I mean, don't you just want to shout hallelujah? It's like I feel like we need to have a worship service right here, don't you? So I'm just going to ask Gervais if she would share a little bit more about the length and the breadth of a glow around the world. So Gervais, would you share a little more about that? Well, this map shows us the width, the height, and breadth. And they're in, in over 3,000 places around the world. God has spoken to the heart of someone, some woman or some man, now that we have men's groups as well, men of Issachar, spoken to their hearts, allowed them to know how to begin, and they began to pray. They found out who to, who to connect with. And every one of these pins on this map has begun by God speaking to the heart of a woman yeah. or a man. Mm-hmm. And, and that group has begun. We've never had any widespread um, crusades that have started many groups. But then we go to some place like this nation and find out there's 13 groups mm-hmm. that we didn't even know about. So a glow is officially in 170 nations of the world, but we often say that we're probably in every nation. We just don't know it yet. <laughs> so all around the world, a glow is meeting, and you you can. I love to look at some of the pins in the far off places, the far north of Canada, the far south of Argentina. Mm-hmm. It's everywhere, and in all six continents of the world, or is it six or seven continents? We have <laughs> we don't have a glow in our Antarctica, but. There are a glow Bible studies in some Quonset hut, in some little room in Antarctica that an aglow woman brought there purposely so that the transient people that go through that, that base have an aglow Bible study to read. So we're, we're everywhere, and God has put us there. We're so grateful. And so are we. Aren't you grateful for what God is doing that you get to be a part of, and it's your giving that is making all of this, all of this 
happen. So thank you for the giving that you're doing for Glow International. And I, ho I hope that you know the impact that you're making just from what these ladies have shared with you today. And until next time, thank you for tuning in. I'm Lori Liskey, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.